everyone, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo. Welcome to episode four of At Home with Baby Gizmo. Welcome back. Today we're gonna to look at one of the rooms in the house that I spend a lot of time in, and that is my home office. Now my home office is situated on the front of the house right by the front door and it doesn't have any doors so my chaos has to be a little bit organized in this office because this is one of the first rooms that people see when they come into my house so you're not going to see any of the baby gear or anything else i review in this office i keep all of that stored in a separate room and to be honest i'm probably not going to show you that separate room because it's kind of a mess it's very cluttered um, and it's not a room that most people go in so today we're just going to look at the home office and how i have decorated it I want to start out with my favorite feature of my office, and that is my wall of canvases. You cannot miss these photos when you walk in my house. Now here's the thing, it took us a while to sell our house in Chicago, and during that entire time I couldn't put up any new pictures of the kids or the family. Everybody kept telling me that you want your house to be staged so that you know people can feel like they can move right in, which is totally true. But now that I'm in my new house, I'm going to be putting pictures of my kids and my family and my husband everywhere just to make up for it I guess. So I'm starting right here with my office with my wall of canvases. Now here's how I did it. I saw it on Pinterest and I knew I had to do it. I got some graph paper and I measured the entire wall and I decided where the desk would be so that I wouldn't want to put the canvases behind the desk. And then I went and measured all the canvases that I wanted. I knew I wanted 10 um, and I measured it out so that it would be really, really easy to put up. So once I got this done, I measured the wall, used some blue tape to tape it off and then started mounting them. I got the canvases from a company from Groupon. So I got a great deal on them, all 10 of them. And I think they look fantastic. And it's just kind of the focal point of the entire office. Let's talk about the window treatments for a minute. Now I have two large windows in my office and I was trying to decide between blinds and shutters or draperies. And ultimately I decided both would work out the best and I think it worked out fabulously. Now first let's talk about these shutters. These are the Simplicity shutters from blinds.com. I introduced you to them in the kitchen episode. They're awesome. They're really, really great. They're really, really high quality, sturdy shutters we were able to install them ourselves. That's right there. They're called simplicity shutters because they're so easy to install. We had grandma help, we had the kids help. Really, really easy. You just have to screw the frame into the frame of the window, attach the doors, and you are ready to go. So I can open the shutters like this, or I can open the entire door like I just showed you. Now let's talk about these draperies. You may or may not have known that blinds.com actually has draperies as well as blinds. And I love these draperies. These are Bally draperies and they sent me a sample so that I knew what it was gonna look like so I could decide. And these are called the Kuna Sterling. It says right back there, Kuna Sterling draperies by Bally. Um, they have all types of draperies on blinds.com and I think these look great because I wanted everything in the office to be very subtle with just a few pops of color. So I didn't want the color in the draperies because those are over there in the dining room which we will show you in another episode. So ultimately I absolutely love my simplicity shutters and my valley draperies. Okay, let's move on to the furniture. Now, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know that I was trying to figure out what color to pop in this room. Now, I made the room very neutral on purpose, but I want one color to just kind of give it that extra pop of color. And so I ultimately decided red would do the best, and I think it looks great. Now, this chair is where most of the color is coming from, and this chair I got from Target.com. I think it's fun. I love the fact that it's red and white and has a fun pattern. It just gives me a, you know, it kind of finishes the office with a place to sit if somebody were to come into my office or the kids kind of climb on it. And then this rug down here, this is a blue and white rug. So I did like how the red and the blue went together. I ordered this from Zulily. That's right, I just kind of blindly thought, you know, I really like that rug. And so I thought it would work well in this office and I really think it does. So I got this from Zulily, this from Target.com. And now my desk. Now, I like my desk, but I got this desk about 10 years ago when I moved from Los Angeles to Chicago. And to be honest, I think I'm gonna swap it out next year because you know, you want new things sometimes and I kind of think this desk belongs on an episode of Scandal. You know, it's like a very presidential big wood desk. And I think next I wanna do a bit like an open white desk, maybe to go with the carpet and the white from the chair. Um, something that, you know, just is a little bit more modern. Um, kind of like this one. Now, um, the reason I haven't done that yet and I didn't do it before this video series is because it's a big expense because not only the desk, that's not that big of an expense, 
I would need to get a new computer. And I depend a lot. I have my Mac laptop, which is great, but I depend on my PC and that has, uh, it's a desktop, full tower, all kinds of cords. They're all hidden behind the desk really nicely. But if I got that open desk, they would all be exposed. So I'm probably gonna end up getting a new desktop, one of the ones without the towers, one of the cordless ones, or maybe just switching completely to Mac. I just haven't decided, it's a big expense. So for now, I think this desk works out great. It gives me plenty of space. It hides all of my stuff back there. It has file cabinets built in. Um, and it does look pretty professional and looks good with the floor. Plus it looks good with my big bookcase over here. Now I got this bookcase at World Market and I really, really like it because again, I wanted it to kind of blend with the floors. Now this bar right up here, there is an extra ladder that you can purchase. Now I chose not to purchase it because that ladder for my kids is just an invitation to crawl right up my bookcases and I definitely don't want that. Now I do have it secured to the wall for child safety just in case they decide to climb the shelves, which I hope they don't, but you just never know. Um, I think it looks really, really great. It has all of my stuff neat and tidy. Um, I Even up here, I saw this on Pinterest as well, I take jars and I put our good school supplies and our art supplies in them because otherwise my kids like throw them all around. So when it is time to do a craft or art, I have really good markers and crayons and things that aren't completely broken and dried out. Um, so those, and they're up high so the kids can't get to them easily. <laughs> and then I just have, you know, oh, this right here, I wanted to do the rule of three in this room and with the pop of color with the red with the chair, I needed two more reds, right? So the red over here are my file um, basket right here from containers and more, which I like a lot. And this I just got at Pottery Barn because you know I love myself some Pottery Barn. And it's just, you know, some red flowers to kind of give it a pop right here. I thought just, you know, it would just continue the red, which I really, really like. And then the rest of these, these are all from Ikea, all of these file folders and the baskets that go on the shelf. Now this bulletin board over here, this is where I keep all of my organizational chaos, right? <laughs> now it's cleaned off right now because a lot of times all the baby gizmo secrets are on that board and schedules for my kids. So I did clean it off so it looked a little bit neat and tidy, but just know I am not this neat. Um, it, it has days of the week all listed on it and that is so I can keep track of my kids' schedule. I also have a calendar on my desk. I also have a calendar in the kitchen and that is because I promised myself that I would get more organized in this house and I wouldn't miss crazy hat day and the field trips and the things that I would just, you know, forget about. So this is my bulletin board that, you know, for work and for the kids, I just needed a place to be able to tack all of my things. So that's about it. That's my office. I think it's pretty fancy. I, you know, I spent a lot of time here, so, you know, it has to be something that I feel comfortable in. So that's it for the office episode. Don't forget to join us for the next episode. Now here's the thing, we're taking um, a week off for Thanksgiving. So the next episode will not be until Thursday, December 4th. It will be at 9 a.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that to find out which room we are going into next. And that's it for me. What aspect of my office did you like the best? I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment and let me know. And I will talk to you later. I'm Holly Schultz from Baby Gizmo. Bye.